This is one of the traps Mr. Beast built for his video, and this is the exact replica in the game I made. This contestant Mac has to survive every single trap and gets $100,000 for each one. I turned not only this one but every single trap into a playable level and it turned out crazy. But let's start from the beginning. In level 1 the contestant is put in this cage with these deadly spikes slowly closing in with seemingly no way of escaping death. The only tool he has is this very cool looking wooden chair. I started off with opening blender. So here we have this spike, a little bit of magic aka 20 minutes of hard texture adding and editing and I've got something that looks similar enough. It has that rusty one cut and you're dead vibe that we need. I imported the spike into unity and made it 10 by 10 grit. Slap on the wall with some nice metal texture and boom! First metal wall is done. I copied everything and built this metal room and now the only thing we need is the cage. I just ripped it off the internet somewhere and added the wooden chair into it. There are some chains the contestant climbed up and you'll just be climbing up into the void but that's not the priority here. Next thing I did was add some quick lights and post processing and here we go. The map for the first level is done. Now let's move on to the mechanics. I did some quick coding and the walls are now slowly closing in and yeah nothing is happening yet but you can imagine what would happen right they just keep going huh i even bugged out of the map entirely in the original level mac just straight up destroys the chair and uses a part of it to escape that's pretty badass so i wanted to recreate that you can left click the chair and it kind of crumbles to its death now it doesn't really look as cool as in the video so why not just add some bouncing you gotta click the chair seven times and you then get one leg of the chair just press e and it kind of does its thing and opens the cage but you're not free just yet you still have to escape the moving spikes. I really really like wall running so I added exactly that to this level. You just have to kind of slide up the door smoothly and then escape with the chains hanging. Ah I fell down. Turn on the epic music and the first level is done. And with that we got our first $100,000. Now we still got 7 more levels to go and they only get more insane from here on out. In level 2 my guy has to press this button and cross the path without touching one single laser. Otherwise he dies. Nah I'm just kidding the door just closes. I built the room of the laser level and the little platform with the button you gotta press. This is how it looks right now. None too crazy. But we got a cool red button. The epic lights of course can't be missing and by the way did anyone notice these men in black suits? that are just chilling and recording? Maybe that's just me though. Now the only thing we need for the laser level are the actual lasers. For that I just added this bean looking thing and stretch it out like crazy. Give it some glow and it looks like a laser to me. So yeah, this is gonna take a while. I'll see you in a second. This is the level so far. Let me just click on the button and boom. God, this looks crazy good. And now I just need to cross the path without touching a single one of them. I can crouch and jump. Now this is the second trap and my boy in the video gets $200,000 if he wins this. So I added some money bags at the end of this level. Ahem, <clears throat> Jimmy, I wouldn't mind 200k either, you know, for the work I'm doing and stuff. Oh yeah, by the way, this is what happens if you actually touch a laser in the game. <laughs> The door just closes and you gotta jump to your doom to try again. And it's harder than it looks, okay? Especially if you try to speedrun it. I failed quite a bit. But that was it with level 2. For the next trap, Mag just has to take the bag of money and run as fast as he can so he won't get smushed by this boulder that is made out of rubber or something. It's pretty epic in the video, but just running in a video game isn't the most cool thing to do. To demonstrate that to you, I replicated the level of the video. Just a straight path with the money that you gotta pick up and the boulder. It's not supposed to work like that. But this is pretty much how the game would look like if I followed Mr. Beast's video. I take the money and just walk. Nothing too dramatic about that. Boring. In order to make it more badass, more cool, more act, I added a little parkour you gotta do while the bowler is destroying everything in its way. There are two paths you can choose from, depending on how confident you feel in your gamer skills. The harder one includes a lot of well-timed jumps and then dodging these pillars of stone. And the second one is just you walking through this path without hitting anything and you're fine. And it's definitely more difficult now. Jimmy's map looks pretty cool, I'm gonna give him that, so I had to add some plans to compete with him. His trap took about 30 days to make. Yeah, same for my level as well. I can now grab the bags and move on. Now trap 4 was interesting. It involves having this whole parkour you gotta pass while inside this very annoying bubble. My boy Mac wasted no time getting them $400,000, so I gotta speed it up as well. I just repurposed the laser level room for this. Recycling and that, really important nowadays. Now the next thing was recreating every single thing in the parkour. From the thingies going up and down, to the thingy moving back and forth, to the thingies that have holes in them. I started off with the basic platforms and added this fisheye lens effect. I mean he was in a ball and you have the perspective of a fish. 
about equally as difficult I'd say. A little bit of coding and I added the movement for every single platform. And I basically got a 1 to 1 replica of the original one. To add a little bit of pressure we also got a 5 minute timer. You just gotta be really patient in this level and wait for the right timing. Oh yeah and you can't jump. This takes a while to get used to as well. Luckily you got more than just one try, otherwise I'd definitely lose the $400,000. Trap 5 was by far the most annoying thing to recreate. It involved weird water physics, weird shaders, weird post-processing, all of that. The contestant has to swim through this very tiny hole with water in it and open these locks while his money is literally about to be burned and his lungs about to explode. I just reused the holes from the last level and added this tube thingy into it. After that I added the blue shader and it kinda looks like you're swimming in water, right? To make it more realistic I also added some underwater sound effects and a slight water effect on your vision. On top of the whole thing there are also some waves just chilling and I think that's good enough for the wet experience. I made some rings and blender that you have to swim through and now the last things are the locks. Ta-da! Chains with a lock. And the big red button of course can't be missing at the end. In the video Mac just kinda fills around with a lock but I got something way cooler than that. You gotta press the right sequence of numbers to break the lock. Okay it's not the most amazing mechanic out there but with a little bit of time pressure it's decent enough. Just imagine the bar going down are your lungs that are about to give up. Now the last thing I'd need for the level is this very difficult mechanic where the money is always moving in sync with the timer and then burns and ceases to exist if you fail. Which would take hours but definitely boost the game experience. Anyways, Trap 6 is just a straight advertisement for his chocolate brand, where you need to choose between his chocolate or Hershey's. And because I don't have a chocolate to sell you, I've got Danny and Tastica. You either choose me and subscribe of course, or choose Danny, who as you can see sucks. Yeah, you'll probably choose Danny, but you literally lose if you choose him, so you have to subscribe. My massive plan is working. And talking about advertisement, I got a free PDF for you in the description if you want to start game development as well. Now let's continue with the next one. In Trap 7, Mac has to face his ultimate fear, height. He's surrounded by literally nothing except forest and a bar he has to cross. For the environment, I just added this free low poly forest. Our forest even looks better than Mr. Beast, so I'd objectively say that our video is also better. <laughs> I rebuilt the floating balance beam and it looks pretty high in game dude. Just imagine doing this in real life. The whole promise of this trap is that you have to balance yourself and not fall to your death, right? So we turned this concept into the mechanic. The walking is done for you and your player just randomly wobbles either to the left or the right. And if you don't steer yourself by pressing A or D on your keyboard, well... The money is waiting for you at the end as always. Now the last trap in Mr. Beast's video is the recreation of the Squid Game cookie thing. And because I don't want to get sued by Squid Game or end up in Mr. Beast's basement, you get to destroy my face made out of bottles with some balls. I did that because it kinda looks like the honeycomb game, right? No? And that's pretty much it. My speedrun high score is 3 minutes and 40 seconds without popping all the bottles at the end. And if you try to beat that, the game is in the description of the video. Comment your best time down below. That's it, subscribe and watch this video.